Did you know there are no other Everglades in the entire world? This unique ecosystem is very special and it's in danger. Let's go to the Everglades to learn more from my human friends. Follow me. Before we head over to this freshwater ecosystem, let's learn a few facts about the Everglades. My name is Mermaid L, and my job is saving the sea. And because all of our waterways are connected, I help protect other ecosystems as well. Today, we will learn about the Everglades. Oh, I know Skippy, you would not miss this mission. Skippy is my best friend from the reef, and he too wants to learn about the Everglades. To us, under the sea, the Everglades are pretty famous, mostly because there's no place on Earth quite like them. The Everglades span 2 million acres across Central and South Florida. It is the largest subtropical wilderness in the United States, encompassing a unique and diverse ecosystem. It includes a variety of habitats such as sawgrass marshes, mangrove forests, cypress swamps, and hardwood hammocks which support an extensive array of wildlife. The Everglades is home to many endangered and threatened species. Some include American crocodile, the West Indian manatee, and the Florida panther. Efforts are being made to protect and conserve these species. Hey Skippy, did you know that Everglades is not really a swamp like most humans think? Often referred to as a river of grass, the Everglades is not a swamp, but a slow moving river that flows out of Lake Okeechobee and down to Florida Bay. This slow water flow is essential for the health of the ecosystem, supporting both plant and animal life. So what exactly happened to this unique ecosystem? Why is it in danger? Let's visit the Everglades National Park to learn more. And let's visit some other friends too. Ready, Skippy? Let's transform. Welcome to the Everglades! The Everglades have been significantly impacted by human activity, including urban development and diversion of the water flow. This has affected the amount of water that flows here, the water quality, and the many plant and animal species that depend on it. Let's see if I can find my friends. Which way should I go? Oh, look, here's a friend! This is the American alligator, like we learned on episode 6. They once were on the brink of extinction, but thanks to protecting these species, they have made a major comeback and recovery. Their recovery is one of the most successful endangered species success stories. An example of what happens when we come together to protect our ecosystems. Thanks to our friend, we made it to the Everglades Foundation. Hi, Jennifer. So Hi. nice to see you. Nice to see you as well, Marmito. So excited to visit you here at the Everglades Foundation. Please, please tell me a little bit more about your organization. I would love to. So we're a non profit that works to restore and protect America's Everglades through science, advocacy, and education. So Jennifer, tell us how the Everglades have changed over the years and why are they in danger? Sure. So when people started to move to Florida, you know, starting as long ago as the 1800s, uh, we started changing the way that water flowed through the system. So we started dredging canals and putting levees and dikes. And so essentially what happened is you cut the headwaters of the Everglades, Lake Okeechobee, um, from that flow. And so you decreased the amount of water flow that moved through the greater Everglades ecosystem to Florida Bay. And consequently, uh, pollution increases. Um, we have algae blooms. Uh, we have not enough water flow to Florida Bay and some seagrass die off. And so the fix to that is to make sure that we restore America's Everglades. And so that's what we work to do to make sure that these projects are in place to make sure that uh, we can restore it to as close as possible to its historical water flow. So what are things that humans can do to help? The first step is to learn more and to educate yourself about this incredible, unique ecosystem. Secondly, conserve water. Make sure you're not using too much water and you're turning off your faucets um, to conserve that water on a daily basis. Uh, don't over fertilize. So make sure that you're not putting too much fertilizer on your lawn and plants. Uh, plant native species. Try to reduce, reuse, and recycle. Try not to use so many single-use plastics. Thank you, Jennifer, so much for teaching us about the Everglades Foundation and the Everglades overall. Let's protect the Everglades. Let's protect the ocean because the Everglades and the ocean go fin to fin. 
That was so incredible! We made new friends and we learned about the Everglades. Oh, we have to get back to saving the seas. See you later, alligator. And see you in a while, crocodile. <laughs> Mermaid kisses. Starfish wishes. Thank you for watching. Join me on my Saving the Seas mission by making better choices on your daily life. You can reduce your carbon footprint, ditch single-use plastics, or participate in a beach cleanup. Visit stskids.org to learn more about Mermaidelle's mission and for mermazing activities. Thank you to the Everglades Foundation. Learn more about the Everglades at evergladesfoundation.org and at evergladesliteracy.org. You can also make a donation to support our ocean conservation efforts at SavingTheSeas.org. Together, we can make a difference on our ocean's health. See you again soon!